Boys and girls, welcome to grade five of our social studies corner. My name is Parvati Kanai, and our topic today is natural regions. Let us look back. What have we learned in our last lesson? In our last lesson, we learned about the resources of the hilly sand and clay region, examples, bauxite and sand mining, agriculture, produce of the hilly sand and clay region, dairy farming, making charcoal, logging, benefits of the bauxite industry, foreign exchange. Homework, did you do your homework? Remember homework is important and you should always do your homework. Two mining industries in the hilly sand and clay region are bauxite and sand mining. Charcoal can be made by cutting the logs to size and put it in the hole or pit, then cover it. The wood will burn and charcoal will remain. Crops grown, pineapple, peanuts, ground provision, citrus. No, we do not get meat from dairy cows. Two benefits of the bauxite industry is that it earns foreign exchange and provides jobs. In today's lesson, we will learn all about the important places and places of interest in the hilly sand and clay region. The section of the map, colored yellow, is showing the hilly sand and clay region. Can you see the map? Look at it. It's a section of the map of Guyana, and the part that is colored yellow is the hilly sand and clay region. The hilly sand and clay region. This natural region is breathtakingly beautiful, with its two towns, pristine white sand, many black water creeks, hills, rapids, settlements, and tourist resorts. Now, a rapid is like a waterfall, but it is not from very high. It is like a section or a part of the river with a lot of rocks, and the water always seems to be very, very rough. The hilly sand and clay region, important places. We have tongues, number one, Linden, number two, Bartica. We have the airport, Cherry Jagan International Airport. Place of interest, the Mazaruni prison, and we have monuments, Fort Kaik overall. The hilly sand and clay region, tourism industry, resorts. Those are the resorts that can be found in the hilly sand and clay region. We have the Blue Water Lake, that's in Linden. We have Splashmans. We have ROI, white, H2O stands for water, as I have it there in the bracket. And let me go over the name again, ROI, white, H2O, resort. Barocara Waterfall, BK, Quarry, Tipiru, Waterfall, Baganara Resort. Hilly Sand and Clay Region, the town of Linden. Linden is the second largest town in Guyana. It is a mining town. This town is situated on the bank of the Demerara River, and it was first a mining camp that grew into a town. This town, maybe a few settlers had started out there simply just mining, looking for bauxite, and then eventually it grew and grew until it became a town, and it is now the second largest town in Guyana. The town of Linden. 
The Suzdike Linden Highway links the low coastal plain to the hilly sand and clay region. When traveling to many interior locations, persons pass through Linden. Persons can travel from Georgetown, pass through Linden, and travel all the way to the town of Bartica by road. It is simply stating that if we do not want to go by air, travel to Bartica by air, or take a speedboat, then we can get into our vehicle and travel by road from Georgetown through the Linden Highway and straight on to Bartica. Linden Blue Water Lakes. In some areas where bauxite were mined, Blue Water Lakes were formed. Now, remember when they took out the bauxite ore, there were pits left there because they had to dig in to, remember we said, 180 feet below the, um, the earth. They had to dig there. So when they were finished, those ponds were not filled. Instead, it was filled with water and the water is blue there. So they are very beautiful. We have Blue Water Lake in Guyana. Not only the Caribbean has blue water, Guyana too, but it's not in the rivers. There are Blue Water Lakes at Linden. Here is a video showing you one of our beautiful Blue Water Lakes at Linden. As you have seen the video, the lake is indeed very beautiful. You may want to visit there. Story time. Finally, August vacation was here. Jessica, who lives on the coastland, will be spending part of the holidays in the Tong Bartica with her uncle. Early Saturday morning, Jessica and her family traveled to Parika where they caught a speedboat at the Parika Ferry Stelling. On the journey, she passed many small settlements along the banks of the Essequibo River and islands in the river. She was awestruck when she passed the famous Eddie Grant Island. Sometimes they saw boats laden with produce and children swimming in the Essequibo River. At last, they arrived at the Bartica Ferry Stelling. There, they went by car to her uncle's home. At first, the road was flat, then they passed a few steep hills. As they passed through the streets and avenues, the Zetong seems to be very busy. She soon learned that many persons traveled there to go into the interior, mainly to do mining. Bartica is known as the gateway to the interior. Soon, they reached the top of the Mount Gripper Hill. The view was breathtaking all the way down to the river. Then they went down to the other side of the hill where her uncle lives. She was told later in the afternoon they will go to the Golden Sands Beach to meet some friends at the boardwalk. Jessica knew she was going to have an awesome holiday. Scenes Jessica may have seen on her way to Bartica. We can see there is a picture of children swimming. Then there is the beautiful Eddie Grant Island. It's a tiny island with a house on it. Then we have Bartica, and on Bartica there is a road there. It's a curving hilly road. Then we have a picture of the Mount Gripper Hill that she went up, the one that she described. Here is the boardwalk and Golden Sands Beach that she was told they would be visiting later on in the afternoon. 
What have you learned from this story? You can travel by river to the town Bartika. There are settlements along the river bank. Bartika has many hills. There is a boardwalk and the beach is called Golden Sands Beach. Bartika is known as the gateway to the interior of Guyana. Important places. The Cherry Jagan International Airport. The Cherry Jagan International Airport is located at Timeri on the right bank of the Demerara River. This airport was first named Timeri International Airport. It was renamed after a former executive president of Guyana, Dr. Cherry Jagan. Cherry Jagan International Airport was recently upgraded. Let us look at a video of our international airport. Let us look at a video of our international airport. As you can see, our airport, it looks modern, it's upgraded, you have a lot of more convenience, convenience there, it's more spacious. Loading and unloading, that is boarding, and when you go onto the um, aeroplane and when you leave, you have more convenience and you're more comfortable. You don't have to go out into the sunshine before you can board the plane anymore. Ruins of Fort Kaik overall. Important places, monuments. At the junction or confluence of the Essequibo, Masruni, and Cayuni rivers is Fort Kaik overall. Kaik overall is a Dutch word meaning sea overall. A fort is a place that the Dutch had built to defend themselves from enemy invaders. This fort is located on a small island. It was a Dutch fort in the colony of Essequibo, in what is now Guyana. It was constructed in the year 1616. It once served as the center for the Dutch administration of the county, but now only ruins are left. Place of interest, the Masaruni prison. This is the largest prison in Guyana. It is at the top of a hill at the confluence of the Essequibo, Cayuni, and Masaruni rivers. And there we have a picture of the Masaruni prison. Now, people come to this prison or they are sent to this prison only when they do very, very bad things and they have to serve very long sentences. Tourism industry, resorts and fun parks. In the hilly sand and clay region, there are many places you can go to have fun, celebrate and just relax. We have the oasis at Linden, that's a resort. And on the Suzdike Linden Highway, we have creeks that people will go to on the weekends or just to go there to relax at any time. The hilly sand and clay region tourism industry. 
Guyana also earns revenue or money from the tourism industry. Resort, a place where people go for vacation, fun, and relaxation. This region has much to offer with its many resorts, Blackwater Creeks, and waterfalls. Tourism provides jobs for many persons. Tourism industry, resort, and waterfall. Here we have pictures of some places that you could go to, to have fun and to relax. Here we have the famous ROI Resort. We have the Barocara Waterfall, and this waterfall is just across from where the ROI Resort is. Then you have the BK Tipiru Waterfall. You do not have to pay to go to this waterfall. You can go there any day, any time, just to spend the day with your family and friends and relax. Then we have the Baganaro Resort. Let us look back. Points to remember. Some important places and places of interest in, the, in this hilly sand and clay region. The Cherry Jagan International Airport, Monument, Fort Kaiko overall, the Mazaruni Prison, Resorts, Fun Parks, Waterfalls, Tongs, Linden, and Bartica. Someone can travel from Georgetown, pass through Linden, and into Bartica. Linden is a mining town. Bartica is known as the gateway to the interior. Homework. Identify the towns that can be located in the hilly sand and clay region. Identify the towns that can be located in the hilly sand and clay region. Name two places that can be found at the confluence of the Essequibo, Cuyuni, and Mazaruni rivers. Where can we find the international airport in this region? Identify three resorts found in the hilly sand and clay region. Identify three resorts found in the hilly sand and clay region. Bye, boys and girls. See you in our next lesson. Please re make sure you read, revise, and do your homework. See you. Have fun.